Hey guys, Red Pen Mining here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day. We got another GPU mining coin that has hard forked into a new algorithm called Pure and Hash V2. I'm going to show you guys today, give you examples on how to set that up, and also talk about overclocking regarding NVIDIA cards, and also talk about how to do it in Hive OS and also in Windows as well. Okay, so I'll show you examples of that in this video and talking about the miners as well, which miners are available for uh, Pure and Hash V2, as well as uh, for AMD cards, which I'll tell you right away, AMD cards are not very efficient on the new Pure and Hash V2. It was great on Carlson Hash V2, but it's not very good on Pure and Hash. Pure and Hash, it seems like they're still, they didn't really change much, but it's still core dependent. So from my testing, AMD GPUs are not going to be as good as NVIDIA cards. So I'll show you guys NVIDIA cards in HiveOS and as well as in Windows as an example. We'll talk about overclocking. All right. So before we begin, thank you for today's video sponsor, HeroMiners.com for this Pure and Hash V2 video okay so to get started on mining Pirin hash v2 or Pirin is now we want to make sure you have a wallet so on Pirin's website Pirin.network you can either use the web wallet desktop wallet or they also have an android uh, mobile wallet okay so you can use any one of these the desktop wallet is probably preferred but in today's video example i'll just show you guys the web wallet here that i have uh, so we're going to be mining to my address account here, okay, just as a test. So I will show you the HiveOS example first, okay? So people that have HiveOS, you probably already know how to add a wallet, but we're going to do it anyway. So we're going to go to wallets in your farm. We're going to go add wallet. I'm going to add PIY, and you can see it comes up here. Then you're going to want to add your address. So in my case here, my web wallet, I'm just going to copy that and paste it into here. Then I'm just gonna call this RPM test peer in. Okay, create. Okay, now we need to create a flight sheet. Okay, so I'm gonna do this right here. We go to flight sheet tab, go type in PIY. Okay, wallet, it's gonna be my RPM test peer in. Pool, we're gonna obviously use hero miners, which is already auto-populated here. They have all the different stratums available. So in my case, I am going to be using US West and East. That's closer, the better, the latency, that's which is going to be lower. All right. You can also do a ping to these servers and see which one is going to have a much lower latency for you. Okay. So for me, it's going to be US West. And just to show you an example of uh, uh, pinging the server, I'm just going to go us.peerin.herominers.com. So you can see here my... Latency here is around 18 to 28 milliseconds, okay? So, but if I were to ping, let's say a server that's not near me, let's just say Brazil, for instance, I'm gonna type in ping space br.peerin.herominers.com and you can see <laughs> uh, that is, yeah, 190, 188 milliseconds. So that's, uh, that's too high, that's very slow. So closer the milliseconds, the better, okay? So you do this in command prompt, you can ping the servers here to figure out which one is closest to you by figuring out the lowest latency. But we're gonna go down now, hit apply. Okay, that's for the pool. Next, the miner. For the NVIDIA cards, we're gonna be using Regal Miner, okay? Now, we're gonna just verify here in setup miner config, you wanna make sure the parameters are correct. So we're gonna click on the hash algorithm. We're gonna make sure it's on pure and hash v2. All right, and uh, make sure you have the wallet.worker name here and as well as the URL. All right, so that's, yeah, that's all we need actually. So normally we normally did the, uh, you know, the extra config arguments for overclocking here, but HiveOS has recently, or over the past year, they implemented the uh, lock core clock and lock mem clock, all that kind of stuff. So hit save there and also then create the flight sheet here. Okay, so it's gonna show up here. Now you wanna go back to your workers. Let's do this on a fresh, rig here I have here okay so Hive OS you're gonna have to update it to the latest version they did add the latest version of Regal Miner and also SRB Miner um, if you decide to mine on uh, Pure and Hash but uh, I'm gonna say AMD cards you're gonna want it for Carlson Hash not Pure and Hash because Nvidia cards again are gonna be stronger on the core and Pure and Hash V2 doesn't seem to have much memory into it 
for mining. So AMD GPUs don't seem to take advantage of that. So anyways, we're going to keep uh, updating the rig here, force upgrade, reboot after complete and hit upgrade. Now we're, while it's upgrading, I'm just going to now just do the overclocks here. So for my 3070s, now this is where I want to talk about overclocking. Okay. So I've been doing a few tests here on uh, a few of my 3070 rigs. So you may notice here that I have lower power consumption on this 3070 rig versus this 3070 rig, okay? And it looks like I have the exact same overclocks, but there's one setting that's a little bit different. So I'm gonna go to the overclock button here, and I'm also gonna op open up this overclock button here. And I'm gonna show you here, the only thing that I've changed to lower the power consumption and this is just towards people that are, you know, maybe more mindful of how much power they're using on a circuit. Okay. But for my case here, I changed the lock core clock. Um, I've been testing like 410 and then uh, also uh, 1260. I kept everything else the same 350 core clock offset, 810 memory clock, 180 power limit. Everything else is the same. But just showing you guys the difference here um, in, like, let's say efficiency. Okay. It's, actually it feels like it's the same but i think silicon lottery of course i think for 1410 seems to do the trick but we're using another uh you know based on the whole rig like another 10 or 15 watts each gpu but based on the whole rig okay just to show you here this one where i'm using uh 1260 uh, lock core this whole rig takes about 661 watts and this is an octo miner so i can see the true power at the wall here 661 watts then on the other 3070 rig where I'm, I'm testing out 410 lock core clock, you can see the whole rig's at 747 uh, watts. So another, you know, 100 watts more, basically. So depending, uh, of course, I've, lo I've lost some hash rate here, but I'm using more power on this rig, right? 3.9 giga hash versus 3.5. So with the 100 watt delta there, whether or not you need to lower power, maybe you're in an area that's too hot, your ambient temperatures are much higher, then maybe you want to lower down the lock core clock to get lower power consumption, but thus you lose hash rate. So anyways, I just wanted to show the overclocking here for the 3070s that I've just been testing here. You guys can uh, test, you know, just change the core clock offset. I, I noticed this one didn't change too much uh, in terms of hash rate. This setting here really changed the power as you went down, okay? So yeah, that's just what I wanted to showcase here. The difference is it feels like the efficiency is really pretty much the same, but just being mindful of the power consumption as you go down. Okay, so in this case, I'm just gonna put 350. I'm gonna put 1260 here. Uh, then uh, clock, memory clock, I put 810, power limit 180. All right, so I'm gonna save this. This is for my 3070s. Just keep in mind your other GPUs that you have, NVIDIA GPUs, which I'm I'm thinking of doing another video later of all the other models overclocks. Let me know down below if you guys wanna see that. I'll do other overclock testing. But anyways, I'm gonna save this. And now I am gonna apply the flight sheet. Okay, so let's go to flight sheet. We're gonna hit apply the flight sheet that we just made here. Okay, so it's going to now start up and then now i'm gonna go to the rig itself so locally i'm just gonna connect to it because i'm local to it and log in here and minor running at 3.5 giga hash here 66 watts per 3070 pretty pretty efficient here pretty efficient numbers again silicon lottery but uh you, again you like i said you guys play around with the numbers here to get the numbers that you want more hash rate, obviously the better, but then you're going to get more heat, use more power consumption. So keep that in mind. Anyways, that's it. That's how you mine Pirin in Hive OS. Pretty easy. So now let's go through the Windows how to. Okay, so I have just a 20 GPU rig, mining rig here where I'm supposed to have 20 50 HXs, but I haven't done it yet. I know I'm going to get a lot of comments about that. But anyways, this has seven right now. So I want to try to get Pirin on mining here. So I've used this to mine Carlson, so I actually already have Regal Miner downloaded here. Or you can use LOL Miner. LOL Miner did just come out with their version as well. But today's example, I'm using Regal Miner. Okay, so download the latest version, 1.19.0. I'll have this link down below if you're a Windows user. I'm using uh, the win.zip version here. So I save that into, you click on it, and it should save into your downloads folder. Okay, 
Then you're going to want to right click that zip file and you want to make sure you extract all into its own folder. Okay, so make sure you hit extract. Then once that's done, it's going to come up with a its own folder like this right here. Okay, and we're going to go in and you should see a lot of other batch files here. So in our case, we're doing Pyrin or Pyrin. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it wrong. We're going to right click the PIY, PYY, PYI and hit edit. And now you're going to get the batch file stuff here, which we are going to edit and add in. OK, so when you first start, you may see some colons. OK, so you want to make sure you remove that before the regal or rigel.exe. OK, so it might look something like like this. OK, make sure you remove that. And now make sure it's peer and hash v2. And then next you want to add in your mining pool of choice. OK, so which is going to be hero miners in our case here. So they have their own here in mining pool on hero miners and they have a lot of different stratum pools here and all across the world. So again, I did show you how to ping the server, uh, which ones that's closest to you. So make sure you do that. And then um, I'm going to choose uh, the US West, which I've actually already entered in already and make sure you copy and paste it into here Okay, make sure you have stratum plus TCP colon slash slash here. Then the next thing you want to do is enter in your Pirin address or not enter in, but make sure you copy it in. OK, so in my case, I have uh, the web wallet address. I'm going to hit the copy button here I'm going to go back and I'm going to paste that into here. OK, so make sure you have that next overclocking. OK, so in Windows, I guess it's a little bit different. So thankfully, though, Regal Rigel Miner has uh, the parameters. Okay, C clock, lock, C clock, lock, mem, mem clock, and power limit. So in my case here with my 50HXs, these are the numbers that I have been comfortable with and getting the most efficient and also max settings that I can get on these 50HXs. Um, you know, you guys with G other GPUs, just go to hashrate.no, uh, check out uh, the, the general overclock settings that you have gotten Maybe on Pirin in the past or the first gen Carlson way back, uh, you know, just recently, you may be able to use those exact settings. OK, but in my case, my 50 HX is here. I'm using this. OK, so I'm going to save now. Once this is all entered in, make sure you hit file, save. And we're going to close this. Now we're going to go to back to the drive uh, folder here. We're going to right click it, run as administrator. And now we're going to see it mine. Okay, so let's see this here. I'm going to close this and okay, so it looks like it's connecting and right away I'm getting about 1.27 giga hash. Uh, 1.28 on these 50 HXs. Not, you know, not too bad, but 30 series is a little bit better, getting more efficient on my 3070s. And uh, yeah, but you guys can see my general numbers that I'm getting on my uh, Windows rig here and that's really easy super easy to mine on Windows and yeah So let me know what you guys think about this one. Okay, so that's it that really concludes the how-to video on how to mine Pyrin or Pyron on Windows and also in Hive OS. Okay, so pretty cool to see these results here Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what overclocks you guys are able to achieve and uh, It helps out other people that are watching this video reading the comments um, they'll see if other GPUs that you guys have that I didn't show today, it'll help out the people down that are reading uh, in the comment section. So anyways, guys, that really concludes it. Uh, let me know what you guys think and um, we'll see if this profitability stays uh, pretty high here on GPUs for Pyron mining and also Carlson and uh, Zealous. I, I found that actually when Pyron and Carlson, they moved to their new algorithms just today and yesterday, you know, they have now been alleviating some pressure off of some other coins that were notably unprofitable. OK, so it's nice to see that depending on your electrical cost, we are seeing a little bit of gaining here in profit. But however long that lasts, we'll see. But anyways, thank you to HeroMiners.com again for sponsoring today's video. I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one. Peace out.